Hello, I'm Mike Russell. This is my Udio Ultimate tutorial where I'll show you how to make music like this. And this. And also jingles like this. Playing the biggest hits. All day long. And this. Music Radio Creative.com. So strap in, get ready, and let's go. By the way, if you'd like the cheat sheet on everything I cover about Udio in this tutorial, hit the link down below in the description, sign up to my AI newsletter, and I'll send it to you for free. Also, make sure to follow my playlists and the stuff I'm creating on Udio. The link to my profile, again, is down in the description. What is Udio and what can you do with it? That's the question. Well, it empowers you to create music effortlessly, even if you're not a musician. It's kind of like a digital music creation tool that uses artificial intelligence to help you create music tracks based on simple text prompts that you type in. Now, some of the unique aspects of Udio are the ability to use freeform descriptions, tags, and also artist styles in prompts. We'll get into that later on. As you'll see here, I've got Udio fired up on the desktop, and I would recommend this as Udio is presently optimized for use on desktop. It does work on mobile, but I found it a little bit clunky. I can be way more efficient when I'm working on desktop. It's easier to interact, and I've got more screen real estate. So let's get started with a walk through the homepage, which is here. Now on the homepage, you get staff picks and trending music that you can listen to and get an idea of how people are creating tracks on the platform. Now, if there's something you particularly like, you can hover over the title of that track and it's going to give you the prompt and also the tags that creator used. So as you can see here, it's a quick and easy way of understanding how stuff has been created on Udio if you want to copy a musical style. We'll get more into remixing and using existing tracks later in this tutorial, but that's a brief way of looking at what people have already made. Interacting with the prompt box is easy if you want to type in a description. It's right here at the top, and you can see already there's something, a song about a detective falling for the suspect. If you want to roll the dice and create something completely random, just click over here, a song about the magic of first snow in jazz style. You can click again, a song about a stranger's act of kindness, hard rock, a song about the thrill of the unknown, techno. Let's click the create button, and this will be our very simple first creation. You can hop over to my creations here, and then you're going to see that these tracks are now generating and soon they'll be ready to listen to. We can chase the mysteries of night Feel the rush of the unknown flight if you're done with that creation, you can go ahead and reset using this reset button here, and everything is set back to the beginning so we can start creating more stuff. So now we get the idea, let's start off with our own music generation, and in the prompt box, I'm gonna say a smooth jazz track about a rainy day in Paris. Now I can go ahead and further type in the word jazz, and you see it starts to give me some suggestions as to what style of jazz I could have. So we could have maybe jazz fusion, and it also gives more suggested tags down here here, so we can go for jazz rock, jazz funk, contemporary jazz. There's so much that we can do and everything is auto-suggested here. The next thing to pay attention to when creating for the first time with your own prompt is you can go for auto-generated and this is the default. So what that means is Udio will create the lyrics and the sound. You don't have to worry. It's simply one text prompt and you go. Simple as that. But if you want to make your own lyrics, as we'll do later, you can click into custom, write your own lyrics, and you get a box to type in and use some advanced tags as well, which again, I'll explain later in the video. You can also generate an instrumental. This is great if you're creating stuff for YouTube videos or podcasts. It'll simply make that track without vocals. But for now, let's auto-generate our creation. I'm lost without you. Okay, that's great, but what about incorporating the sound and style of an existing musical artist? Now, obviously due to copyright reasons, you're not gonna get exactly the creation in the style of that artist, but you'll get something similar, and this is how you do it. Clicking in the prompt box, resetting everything, and putting a new prompt. I've said a country ballad about ice baths in the style of Johnny Cash. That's all I need to type. I'm staying on auto-generated. Let's create it. Now you'll see here it says artist replace. We don't generate artist likeness without permission. So it's replacing Johnny Cash with male vocalist, country honky-tonk regional music. But there ain't no colder comfort than the chill we're telling you. 
Slide into that ice bath, pal. Let your skin turn icy blue. Okay, so that's definitely not Johnny Cash, but it's a very similar style, showing that we can use artist names inside our prompts in Udio without the need to describe that artist's sound as Udio does that for us. Next up, I want to show you how to use advanced instrument tags so you can get exactly the instruments you'd like in a musical generation. Again, resetting my generation and saying an instrumental piece, calming, featuring, and then we can type in piano and violin like that, and then a comma for meditation. One thing to note here is when generating, instead of going auto-generated, make sure to click instrumental so you don't get any vocals in the generated audio. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to generate and extend with small prompting tweaks to create the song you really want. So here in the text prompt box, I'm going to type in a techno track for a dance party, high energy, and see what it comes up with. Pulse is rising, feel the vibe. Lights are flashing on the tide. Okay, so we quite like that whirlwind rhythms that's generated and we want to do more with it and maybe tweak our prompt ever so slightly to get an extended track. So in order to do that, you need to click the extend button next to your newly generated track and then you'll get the prompt box up again, but this time you've got some new options. Now I'm going to slightly tweak this prompt. On the end of this prompt, I'm gonna add with a drop and laser sound effects. And then underneath here, we can choose how we're going to extend. Are we going to add an intro, i.e. are we going to put something before that piece of music that was generated? Are we going to just add a regular section before? Are we going to add something after the music that was generated? Or are we going to add an outro and finalize the song? Now, if I wanted to make a song that's, say, three minutes in duration, that's the average of most music tracks, I might just add another section. If, however, I wanted to bring my song to a natural end, I would definitely add an outro. And if I feel like the song needs a, a really good intro, like a build-up before the vocals come in, I'd click Add Intro. For now, I'm just going to add that section after. Let's see what comes back. Up and down and spin it round. Let's go like a whirlwind. And here comes the extension. Okay, that's basic prompting in Udio Explained. If you're enjoying what you see so far, throw a like on this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm always doing tutorials like this. Use the links in the description to grab the free cheat sheet as well and follow my creations on Udio. Let's hop into advanced prompting in Udio. And I'm going to show you how to use non-verbal cues and descriptors to really make an interesting track with custom lyrics. So up here, I'm going to go up and reset my prompt box and I'm typing in a high energy workout song electronic with heavy bass and fast tempo okay so i want something big but i don't want to auto generate so i don't want udio to write the lyrics for me i want to have more control and this time i'm going to click custom write your own lyrics and here are my lyrics it's all about hopping on the bike for another hard session and i'm going to put in some non-verbal cues here to direct how i'd like the music and the vocals to sound so i'm going to start off by saying emotional for the first one and then I'm going to say not another hard session. I'm going to direct it to scream for that. And then I'm going to give some musical direction. I'm going to say pre-drop. And this will be the bit before the build to the drop where the music really kicks in. And I'll put here drop just before let's go. Now for this specific prompt, which is advanced, I'm going to switch on manual mode as well that will allow me to directly interact with the audio model rather than have my prompt rewritten. This is very important if you want to specifically control your musical generations. Time to hop on the bike. Not another hard session. Yes, the biggest session ever. Are you ready for this? 
Okay, as you can hear there, using my non-verbal prompts, we got some spoken words over what was a music track. A little bit of emotion, a little bit of shouting in there, and definitely a build-up, pre-drop, and then drop in the track. And you can see how you can precisely direct how your track is going to sound using these square bracket prompts. If you're interested in more of those prompts, I've listed as many as I can find in my free cheat sheet that's available to download using the link down below. Next, I'll show you how to use very simple square bracket non-verbal prompts like verse and chorus to make a great sounding radio jingle. This time in the prompt box, instead of typing something in, I'm going to choose the style I'd like. So electronic, synthesizer, club, and dance, and pop, and house. That should be enough to be going with. Then custom lyrics, and I'll paste in my script. So you'll see at the top here, I've got a verse singing here, and then I've got a chorus here leading to the radio station name at the end, 94.8 Crash Radio 1. Let's create it and have a listen. Feel just right. Radio on, it's your favorite station. Spinning hits across the nation. Feel the beat. Join the sensation, 94.8 Crash Radio. And do you know what? That's totally usable on a radio station. Now, if I wanted to specifically use that track that I've created, I can click the three dots over here and select to download. It's going to give me an MP3 download of my file, and I'll be able to bring that into my own audio editor and maybe make some alterations, some trims, and also add maybe some reverb and further EQ enhancements, for instance. If you want to watch other videos on editing music tracks and doing clever stuff like reverb, equalization, compression, loads of other stuff, on my channel about that, so be sure to like this video and subscribe for more audio tutorials, kind of like this one. Now, we don't always want a full track with sung vocals in. Sometimes we want just a little bit of a sung vocal and a music bed to talk over. This is great for radio stations, for podcasting, even for YouTubers who want to make an introduction and then have music playing away as they talk in their show or on their video. Let me show you how that could be done. So again, in the prompt box, we'll keep the top the same, but we'll change this here. And instead of putting a long script in with the custom lyrics, I'll just type in, this is Mike Russell. Maybe some dots on the end like that. That's all I need to type. And then I'll click create and play you the result. And you can further enforce to Udio that you just want this as a short section of the music and not the whole music by putting outro in square brackets, as I've done here in this example. Let's have a listen. Let's play this track. This is and then you'll hear the music bubbles away in the background and I've got what we call in the radio industry a donut. And I love the, the way it's put Russell in there as well as a little background thing. It sounds totally like a radio jingle. Okay, so we really like that jingle that we've got and we want to remix it and maybe add some more stuff. Just click the remix button here and then you can add stuff here. So I might actually say that I want to remix it. I want to keep This Is Mike Russell. And again, I'm going to put musicradiocreative.com and see if it'll add that to my jingle. This is Mike Russell. And then I can talk and say things as I usually would on my YouTube channel with this lovely music bed playing away underneath me. This is exactly how you can use a jingle like this. You can tell that I used to work in radio. And then it will come to the end, and this is a full-on donut, as it's known in the industry. You talk up to the final lyrics coming in, saying the web address that I typed, that is like this. In one second, nearly there. Here comes the website. Ready for it? Go! Musicradiocreative.com And I've got to say, that's actually pretty fantastic, isn't it? I can totally use that on a radio station. So you can see with a bit of prompting and remixing, you can get the kind of track you need to make great sounding jingles and little pieces of audio for your YouTube or your podcast. It's pretty awesome. I like it. Next, I'm going to show you how to do musical direction if you've got an idea of how you want your track to sound. For instance, if I go here into the prompt box, I can reset this and say I want the tempo at 120 BPM. I can also say a key. So let's separate that by a comma and say key of C major. And then we can go ahead and put in some other prompts rather than actually type stuff in. I'm actually just going to say I want it to be rock. I want it to be indie. And I'd also like it to be pop rock to keep it kind of mainstream. I'm not going to type anything for 
lyrics or go for an instrumental. I'll just go for auto generation and see if we can control both the tempo and the key of the song using this direction in the prompt box. But she was in her own land Just a queen with no crown Spinning round All the voices echo loud She's on the run there you'll hear a track generated at 120 BPM in the key of C major using rock, Indian, pop rock stylistic sounds. I wanted to give you a few alternatives to advanced ways you can prompt Udio to get some pretty impressive results. And they're on my Udio profile, so use the link down below to check them out. The first one is Dystopian Future, where I asked for a dystopian song with chanting, and I used some famous words from George Orwell's 1984 novel. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. It's also possible to generate stand-up comedy using Udio, a stand-up comedy set with crowd laughter, and here's my custom script. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're venturing into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. And don't worry, I assure you that if I start talking in binary, it's not because I'm a robot. It's just my way of trying to add a bit of code humor. You can also go ahead and prompt Udio in a completely different language. Now, I've made a song here about Polish pierogi. I've got a verse and a chorus here. It's all in Polish. Now, I did use ChatGPT to write the lyrics, and I've passed this by my wife, who is native Polish, and she says, while the lyrics don't quite make sense, it's a funny song about pierogi, which is a beautiful, very delicious dish in Poland. So while... To a native Polish speaker, it may not make sense. That's more to do with the translation than it is the technical abilities and capabilities of Udio. Let's have a listen. Okay, and finally, we're going to end up making a full song in Udio and publishing it so that anyone can listen to it, like it, and share it publicly. So let's start off, as we've learned through this ultimate Udio tutorial, by going into the prompt box and selecting a style. So I'm going to go for pop as my first one, club, oh, a little bit of Euro house, that sounds good, and dance. There we go. I'm going to use just those descriptors to get something nice, and then I'm going to start with custom lyrics, and I'm just going to pop in a a few custom lyrics to get started with. So this will be a verse and a chorus to create a very simple 30 second beginning to this song. Let's create. Lights flashing rhythm with the beat. Heart racing with the tempo's heat. Okay, so I'm really happy with this creation. Let's use this and let's extend it to make that full three minute track. First, I'm gonna start off by adding an intro so the song can get started in a natural fashion. Every moment's electric in the air. Okay, so I'm extending again. This time I'm adding a section after. I'm not doing the outro yet, so just add a section after. And for custom write lyrics, I'm actually going to put this as a drop here and put in brackets, instrumental break. And here comes the drop. And this is the instrumental break with a bit of vocal singing. Sounds pretty cool. 
great break for the middle of the track. So with that done and being pretty happy with what it's created there, I'm going to extend again and this time I'm still going to add another section after and I'm going to do custom lyrics again and this time we're going to go straight into a hook of the song, Tonight's the Night, We Own the Floor, Dance Like Never Before and another verse. This will be the penultimate part of the song before we go ahead and do the outro. So extend one more time and here's that hook coming up. Finally, I've added an outro with custom lyrics, bridge, yeah, yeah, hook, dance till dawn, and a drop, ooh, at the end. And there we go, it's generated, let's listen to the full song. Every moment's electric in the air Moving bodies, hands up without a care So once we've got that full song that we're happy with, we can then go ahead and publish it for the world to hear. Here's how you do that. First, click edit, and then we'll change the name of the song. I think an appropriate name would be Dance Till Dawn, as that is the chorus in the song. And then you get the chance to edit the image. So I'm going to tick to save that uh, wonderful title. Then I'll go to edit image. And this is just like an image AI. You just prompt it with the kind of image you want as your album artwork for the song. So I've just put it as the prompt, ravers on a beach, dancing and having fun, the most beautiful sunrise, waves, fun, euphoric. And here we have it with a couple of alternative options, but I quite like the top option, so I'm going to save that as my cover art. Now that's all done, you can click publish and it's available for the world to listen to. And most importantly, if you want to go viral, the world can like it by clicking the heart. And I hope if you click the link down below to access this song, you'll also click the heart on it, so maybe it can go viral. The final thing I want to show you is how to add songs to playlists. You can click the plus button here and you can either 
Choose an existing playlist. I've created one about radio jingles here or a brand new playlist that you can give a name to here. And you can actually go in here, name the playlist by clicking edit. And then when you're happy with that, you can hit publish. And again, the world can find your playlist and follow it. If you'd like to follow my playlists, they'll be linked down below too. And there you have it, the full audio tutorial ultimate guide. If you would like that cheat sheet that gives you everything I've discussed in this video and more, I'll be updating it as I find new prompting techniques, then definitely use the link down below. Get onto my brand new AI newsletter where I cover tools like this and other AI tools for content creators. If you're interested in that, sign up, get the free cheat sheet, and good luck creating amazing songs with Udio. Do share your tracks with me on social media, by the way. You can find the links to follow me and share those Udio tracks online. I would absolutely love to hear what you come up with.